Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my September update to the low buy that I'm currently on. I'll be going over everything that I finished up for the month of August, I'm talking about anything that came into my collection, and we'll be going over all of my numbers in this video. Essentially, I have a two out, one in low buy. I have to finish up two items in order to bring one thing in. I give myself one point for everything that I finish. All the new things that I buy cost me two points. So let's go ahead and get started like I always do with my empties, talking about everything that is leaving my collection. The first item that I have is a declutter, and this is my Frank Body Booty Drops. It's a firming body oil. I tried this one out in Nightmare on Panning Street. This one doesn't work and it smells rancid, so this one is a declutter. I do not give myself any points or any credit for decluttering items. They are just gone out of my collection. I only count it in the total number of items that have left my collection section. So one declutter for the month of August. Now let's jump into the portion where I talk about skincare, hair care, perfumes, things like that. I have finished off one lotion. This is the Hemp's Pumpkin Spice and Vanilla Chai Body Lotion. Love this, would always repurchase this. I got every bit out of here that I could. It smells amazing. I love this one. I already have, I think, another one of these in this same scent, so I won't be running out of this one anytime soon. Would always repurchase. I have finished off two hair care products. The first one is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. I did cut this one open and get every single bit out of here that I could. I did not think I would be able to finish this one in less than a year. It is 9.7 ounces or 286 mils. There is a ton of product in here. I have finished this, so happy about that. I will always repurchase that. That is my favorite hair gel. As always, I forgot to tell you, the names of all of these products will be listed down below in my description box. I have finally finished my Garnier Fructé Style Full Control Anti-Humidity Hairspray. This originally went into 50 shades of purple. It started up to here and I got it all the way down to here. I took a year plus off with this and then I started this in the Paranormal Pantivity Project pan. It was at this teal line. I got it down to here. I used it a couple more times, took it to Vegas and Jen from Project Beauty finished this off for me. Thank you so much, Jen. I'm so happy that this hairspray is gone out of my collection. I do not need hairspray. I would not repurchase this. I'm so happy it is gone. <laughs> You'll notice in a lot of these products that I have here, I have some products finished that I have been working on for so long. I think this is the most satisfying month of empties for me because of that reason, not necessarily the number of items that I finished, but the actual items, I'm so happy. Let's get into perfumes. I have three samples. The first one is Skylar Vanilla Sky. I love this one. I would consider uh, purchasing a full size of this. Very nice, light, subtle scent. Fragrance notes in here are cappuccino, pure vanilla, and caramelized cedar. This one was amazing. From Floral Street, I have the Wild Vanilla Orchid perfume. I did not like this one. At first it was okay, but the more I used it, I just couldn't stand it and I'm not quite sure why. I ended up spraying it like on my pants, my shorts, my legs, somewhere so it wasn't near my face so I didn't have to smell it. And I am not quite sure what the scent notes are on this one. I did not like it. And then from Juliet Has a Gun, Vanilla Vibes. I finished this one off. I got five of these vanilla scented perfume samples in a kit from Sephora, probably for Black Friday. Of course, those came with a coupon to get one larger perfume, and I chose to get this one as the larger size. I really enjoy the scent of this one as well. It was my favorite of the five. I have finished off my Sunday Rally Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. This is not my favorite. I would not repurchase this one. I just prefer a physical exfoliant over a chemical one. I finished off my IT Confidence in an Eye Cream. This one is completely empty. I did really enjoy this and I would consider purchasing another one of these. This worked really well. My skin loved it. Next, I have my Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. I did really enjoy this one. I think it was in my Beauty A to Z project pan. You just needed the littlest bit. It absorbed right into my skin. It was a really nice formula. I love that one. And these next two skincare products, I am so happy to have them done. I put these items in projects last year and didn't start working on them till towards the end of last year. So I had to roll them over into another project this year to finish. So it feels like I've been working on these 
both for almost two years and I'm so happy that they're gone. The first one is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. Finally finished this one. This lasted forever. I'm happy that this one is gone. I don't know that I would purchase a full size of this. My skin didn't mind, but it's just not my favorite. And then the next one is the Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar Water Cream. Finally finished this one as well. It is completely empty as you can see there. It is a really nice moisturizer, not my favorite. If I got another one, I would use it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase this one. So those are all of my hair care, perfume, skincare type items that I have finished. I finished off 11 items. Now I give myself one point for every item I finished. However, I'm only giving myself eight points. I'm not gonna give myself a point for these three little perfume samples here, but I will give myself one point for every other item that I have finished here. So that is 11 items finished, giving myself eight points towards my low buy bank. And the total dollar value is $326.79 worth of skincare, hair care, perfume empties. Now let's go ahead and jump into my makeup empties. I have finally finished off my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in the shade 4.0. This one I bought when I was extremely tan. I stopped using it when my tan faded and then I just put it in the drawer and I haven't used it for years and it is finally empty. I'm hoping you can see all of that windowing that is going on in this container down here. It does have those little metal balls in here, which makes it look like there's product in here, but it is gone. I'm so happy that this super dark foundation is used up. Next, I have a highlighter empty. This one is from Hourglass. This is the Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick in the shade Pink Flash. This is it rolled all the way up. There is still a little bit of product down there. Can I even get a swatch out? Not really. It is scraping my hand. You can kind of see it right there, but I am happy that this one is gone. It is a pink highlighter, which doesn't work well with my undertone, so I would not purchase this one again. Even if I got it in the right undertone or the right shade, I don't know that I'd purchase that again. I don't really need something like that in my collection. I have finished off one loose setting powder. This is from Bare Minerals, the original Mineral Veil in the shade Translucent. I finished this one off. I'm happy to have another loose powder in my collection. I count everything in my inventory, even smaller sizes like this. I have finished off my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This was, again, a smaller size right here, but I cut it open, I got every bit out of here. It took me a while to finish this one up. I did really like this, and I do have a full size in my collection as well. So another eyeshadow primer finished for this year. It took me eight and a half months, nine and a half months to finally finish this It Brow Power. It is a brow pencil in the shade Universal Taupe. This is it rolled all the way up. I can't get any more out of there. It is done. I can't... Oh, I can't even really get a swatch. That's all I get. You can see that I have worked on this for months in Nightmare on Panning Street, and it is finally gone. I'm so happy. Next, I have a cream blush. Another one I have been working on what feels like forever. This is the Hans Skincare Multi Stick in the shade Roseberry. You've seen this one roll in and out of Project Pans. It is finally done. I loved it so much, I wanted to dig out as much as I could I got it down to the plastic sometime last year, but I kept it in because I wanted to keep working on it. I'm finally ready to call this one done and move it out of my collection. I would repurchase that. The color was so beautiful. And then the last three products I have are all lippies. The first one is from Bare Minerals, the Gen Nude Lippy in the shade Pout. I took the stopper out of this one and finished it off completely. I have this in my liquid lipstick category because it is very opaque. So I'm happy that I have a liquid lipstick out of my collection. I would not repurchase this. I would rather wear a, like a bullet lipstick any day over a liquid lipstick. Speaking of bullet lipsticks, I finally finished off my Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in the shade Spice. This is it rolled all the way up. There's a plastic. There is still product down in here, but I'm not gonna dig it out. I have so many lippies that I'm working on, so many lipsticks, I should say, that I don't feel the need to dig this one out. There is a swatch of it. I don't apply this on my lips anymore. All it does is scrape, so a small little lipstick out of my collection. And then the final one is the Seraphine Botanicals Apple and Blom 
Glow Lip Mask. I finally finished this one. I squeezed the heck out of this, got everything out that I could. I flattened it out and this one is finally gone. I have two more of these to get through. It is not my favorite. It is a nice formula, but I much prefer the Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks over this one. If you have been counting, then you'll know that I finished off nine makeup items over this past month, and I will be giving myself nine points towards my low buy bank for these items. If I add the value of all these items together, I have finished off $159.36 worth of makeup. So looking at everything total, I finished off 20 items. I'm adding 17 points to my low buy bank, and the total dollar value is $486.15. Now that we have finished going over all the empties, it's time to talk about what came into my collection. August was my birthday month and I have quite a bit of things that have come into my collection. If you don't want to see a haul or see all of these things, I completely understand if you wanna click off the video now, but let's go ahead and get started with what I purchased for the month of August. As most of you probably know, I did take a trip to Vegas at the very end of July, the beginning of August, and I met several people there. Jen from Project Beauties had a video up, and also Deb has had a video up, basically talking all about the trip. And while we were there, we did a lot of makeup shopping. So let me show you the things that I brought into my collection. Actually, let me start with something that I bought not part of that trip. And this is the Trader Joe's Brazil Nut Body Butter. I haven't even opened this one, but this goes along with their Brazil Nut Body Scrub. I've had that in different project pans. I bought two of them and they were out of this body butter and I've always wanted to try it. So I saw this at Trader Joe's and I picked one of these up. I'm excited to try this out. It has an amazing scent. I'm hoping it smells just like the body scrub because that was amazing. While we were in Las Vegas, we did a lot of shopping, and one of the places that we stopped at, of course, was Ulta. While there, I purchased a few things. I got the Hemp's Pride Love Passion Fruit Herbal Body Moisturizer. This is their Pride collection for this year. I did not pick this up, and when we got to the Ulta in Las Vegas, this was the only one in the entire store. So of course I had to get it. I usually get the Pride collection every single year. I didn't even know what this year's looked like. I hadn't gone to Ulta, but when we went as a group, I had to grab this one. While there, I also got the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the Pride Edition. You can see hopefully the rainbow in the back right there. I am a sucker for Pride Edition things. I love them. I will always try to pick them up and support whenever I can. So I got those two things. I picked up my birthday gift from Ulta, which is the Tarte Tubing Mascara. I have never tried this. I'm excited to try it. It's been years since I've tried a tubing mascara and I don't know if I really like it, what I think of it. So I'm excited to have that as a freebie to try out. Part of this special they had going with Hemp's is if you bought one full-size lotion, you could get a second item at 50% off. So I decided to pick up the Hemp's Shea Sugar Scrub in the scent Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. I love that scent of lotion, so I wanted to try this body scrub and see what it was like. It's probably sealed. Yeah, it's sealed, so I can't show you what it looks like. But I wanted to try this out. I didn't realize that Hemp's had gone into making body scrubs, so I'm curious to see whether or not I like this one. So I picked this up as well. And I think that is everything that I got at Ulta. We also went to the CCL, we went to Sephora, we went to what was previously the Bite Lip Lab. So that's where all the rest of this stuff came from. I got the MAC in Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara. I'm excited to try this. I have from MAC the Pro Longwear Nourish Waterproof Foundation. This one is an NC13. This was a free gift with purchase. They have discontinued this line of foundations. So they were a free gift that I could pick. So I picked one that is in my shade. The one I just finished panning was way too dark for me. From MAC, I also got the Pro Longwear Paint Pot. This one is in the shade Bougie. It's kind of a brown one with a green flip to it. That's it right there. So I'm excited to try this one out. And the final MAC product I got was the Fix Plus Stay Over Alcohol-Free Long-Lasting Setting Spray. This one is very similar to the Urban Decay All Nighter and I wanna compare the two and see which one I think is better. While we're at Sephora, I picked up my birthday gift and I chose this one from Ilia. It has the multi-stick in here as well as a mascara. So this is two items. I'm counting that as two items added to my inventory. 
From Estee Lauder, I got the Micro Essence. This is something I got for 75% off, so I picked that up. From, let's see, this is from Pharmacy, the Lip Smoothie in Apple. I think this is supposed to be duping or comparing to the Laneige Lip Sleeping Balm, so I wanted to try that out. And I did pick up one of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Balms in a tube. This one is in Gummy Bear. So I'm excited to try those two and see what I think of the formula. Next, I got three products from Charlotte Tilbury. Kim, I'm blaming this one all on you. She talks all the time about these wands right here, so I had to pick them up. I got the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in Pinkgasm. I got the Hollywood Contour Wand in the shade Fair Medium. And then I got the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand. It's a highlighter in the shade Spotlight. So I haven't even opened these up. Obviously haven't tried them, but I'm excited to try out this formula. I hear Kim talking about it all the time. So blaming Kim for that one. <laughs> and then from Bobbi Brown, I got two of the Crushed Liquid Lips. This one is in the shade In a Jam. I'll show you what this looks like. Look at that beautiful color right there. And then this one is in the shade coral beets. I think that's what it says. It's difficult to read. <laughs> and it is this beautiful color right here. So two of these, I've tried a smaller sample of this and the lip formula is incredible. And then I picked up two lipsticks from Smashbox. These were both at the CCO. They had several from the Masters of Horror collection. I got this one, The Bride of Chucky, and this one is Dracula. Let me open these two up. The Bride of Chucky is this beautiful purple color right here. And then the Dracula one is this red color right here that I think is gorgeous. So I'm happy to have those two lipsticks. And then the final thing that I got was from the Bite Beauty Lip Lab. I keep calling it that, the Lip Lab. We were able to custom create our own lipsticks and I made two of them. The first one right here is called Vegas Baby. It is this purple lipstick right here. I'm so excited to have this. And then the last one I made is called Brazen Hussy. <laughs> the reason why I named it that is because my last name is Hussy. So I needed a bright red lipstick that a Hussy would wear. So I'm super excited to have this one as well. So I have several new bullet lipsticks that are entering my collection. So if you have been counting, I have added 23 items to my collection just in things that I've purchased. I went a little crazy, but you know, I don't regret it. I have been working really hard on my low buy. I've been saving a ton of points and I was happy that I was able to go out and get all of these items. I had so much fun, I don't regret any of it. So 23 items that I chose, that means I have to charge myself 46 points to my low buy bank because each item is worth two points. I am charging myself points for the birthday gifts as well because those are items I chose to get. I could have not picked them out, but I did. So at the end of August, no, at the end of July, I had 68 points in my low buy bank. I gave myself 17 for this month, which took me to 85 points but I used up 46 points buying all of this, which takes me down to 39 points in my low buy bank. However, that is not everything that came into my collection. I did get a lot of gifts, so let's get into that right now. Before I get into all of this, I should say I am pre-filming this video. It is not even the end of August yet, so my birthday hasn't happened yet. However, I do have some gifts. I was given some gifts early, so I'm showing you all of that. Some of these were not necessarily birthday gifts, just gifts that people have given me. So let's go ahead and get started. Two items that my wife gifted me early for my birthday it are these Odin's Eyes palette. One of them is Jewels and Gems, and this one is Stone and Rock. These are still shrink wrap. I haven't even opened them, but these are two palettes that have entered my collection. Valerie gifted me a few things. While she was in Italy, she went to a Kiko Milano store and picked up a couple of items. I'm just showing you the makeup type items that she gave me. This is the Kiko Milano Soothing Face Mask. So one sheet mask, and then she picked up two beautiful eyeshadows. This one is from the brand Pro Bio, something like that. It's this eyeshadow, I don't quite know the shade name, but this is it right here, just kind of a beautiful coppery shimmer shade. And then I got one from, I can't even say this brand, it is in Italian, but this is the beautiful eyeshadow right here. I wanna say it is in the shade Aquarius. 
I think that's what it says in Italian. <laughs> and I'm just guessing that it says Aquarius. So I got three items from Valerie. And then I got an entire bag of stuff from Jen from Project Beauty. She gave me several hand lotions. One of them is this Pride collection right here. So there's three lotions here. She also gave me a smaller sample of the Hemp's Love Out Loud Juicy Pineapple and Creamy Coconut. I love using these as little hand lotions. She gave me the Hemp's Buttercream Cake Bite Herbal Lip Balm. She gave me some nail polishes, two of them from Nails Inc. These are beautiful. I cannot wait to wear these. From Natasha Denona, she gave me the Holiday Eyeshadow Palette. Let me open up this one so I can show you what it looks like. This is gorgeous. Look how pretty these shades are. This is definitely a me palette. I love shades that look like this, so I'm excited to wear this. She also gave me the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I have never tried this, so I'm excited to try it out. She gave me the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour. This one is in medium. It's a duo. Anytime I see her use, or I, not just her, anybody use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I always feel like I'm missing out. So Jen gave me this. So I'm no longer missing out. I get to try this formula and I'm excited about it. So I have that. And then she gave me five loose eyeshadows. These are from, I think it's called Pearly Gates. This one is in the shade Cotton Candy. This is Celestial. This is Heaven Dust. This is Angelical. And this one is called Divinity. So five loose eyeshadows. And that is everything that I got from Jen. Everything else that I got was from Deb. So she gave me this Outre Instant Repair Mask. She gave me the Tula Skincare Probiotics and Superfoods Protect and Glow. This is a daily sunscreen gel. Excited to try that out. She gave me one of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps. I'm excited, I love these. I've used up one of them before. The formula is fantastic. And then she also gave me this brush on block. It's a lip gloss that has sunscreen in it. Before Deb and I went on our trip, we stopped at the CCO that is local to me and we picked up several things. She bought all of this for me. I did get one of the gift bags that they have there and you pick six items and put it in there and it costs like $15. So this was quite the steal. The items that I got in there, I have five items from Clinique. The first one is the Moisture Surge Eye 96 Hour Concentrate. So a little sample of that. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge. This is the Clinique Smart Broad Spectrum SPF of 15. The Clinique Smart Night Custom Repair Moisturizer. And then the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. And I also got from Tom Ford the Illuminating Primer, a little teeny sample, so I'm excited to try that out. Now while there, we also got a free gift that had several Clinique items in there and Deb gifted me one of those. This is a larger sample of the Clinique Moisture Surge. I love this. I've tried this out several years ago and I absolutely love it. So I'm excited to have another one in my collection. Because Deb purchased a lot, we were able to get two free lipsticks because it was National Lipstick Day. So I chose one from Estee Lauder. This is the Pure Color Lipstick. Mine is in the shade Insolent Plum. So I have another bullet lipstick, another beautiful purpley shade. I'm excited about this one. Haven't tried it yet. And then I did get to pick out one eyeshadow. This is from Bobbi Brown and the Tokidoki <laughs> collection. I have no idea, but this one is in the shade Sunshine. That is a tongue twister. The packaging on this is so cute. Look at that. That is absolutely adorable. The shade is beautiful. Look at that. Let me give you actually a swatch of this. I know I haven't been swatching everything, but look at that. That is absolutely stunning. So that is everything that we got at the CCO. Of course, that's not all that Deb gifted me. She knows that I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, so she picked me up three full-size mascaras for my birthday. I'm so excited to have those. Deb also got sent, maybe from Influencer, maybe from Buzz Agent, the Commodity Gold Perfume. This is the Scent Space in Expressive. 
and she didn't like this, and I love Commodity Gold. I have the one that's in the white bottle, and then they have a couple of others where the scent is, like this one is more expressive, and then they have another level. She didn't like this, she gifted this to me. I'm so happy to have this, I absolutely love this. This is my favorite perfume ever. If you're looking for a nice vanilla scented perfume, look for Commodity Gold, it is incredible. Deb tried out this Kate Somerville Exfolicate and didn't like it, so she gave me this one that she used and then a full size, another full size one that is still brand new in the packaging that she didn't use. She gave me a Natasha Denona palette. This is the Alloy palette. I think this was maybe a BoxyCharm exclusive, so a beautiful neutral palette from Natasha Denona. And then she did not like this LYS foundation. It's the Triple Fix Serum Foundation in the shade LN3, so she gave this to me. And then she gave me three little lippies. These are all from the brand B Balm. You have to see how cute these are. Look at this, is that not adorable? You open up the top and it has the little, these look like the little dip, things that you dip into a pot of honey and you use those to apply your lip balm. Is that not the cutest thing ever? So she gave me this one, this one is in strawberry. She gave me one in propolis lip balm, this one is still sealed. And then she gave me the cherry blossom lip mask. You can see the little, lip holder or it's holding the little thing that you put your lip balm on with and this is what it looks like a little honey pot and then right here you can snap in that little lip gloss applicator thingy ma bobber <laughs> whatever you want to call it so this is absolutely adorable so that is everything that I got from Deb. As you can see, I had a lot of things come into my collection. I purchased 23 items and I was gifted 44. At the beginning of this year, I did talk about how gifts from friends would not count towards my low buy. And I have felt guilty looking at all of this, seeing how many things I got gifted in my collection. And I thought about charging myself one point for these things. Do I charge myself two points for all of these things? And I thought, just stop. You don't need to apologize for getting gifts from friends and loved ones that is makeup and skincare and perfume. They know how much you love all of this stuff and I need to stop feeling guilty. I wanted to come on here and apologize for getting so much stuff, which I think is ridiculous. I think we apologize for too many things that we don't need to apologize for. And I think this is one of those things. I'm not sorry that my friends gave me all of this stuff. I've decided that I'm gonna stick with my rules and not charge myself points for these. I had no idea I was gonna be getting this many things. I am so grateful for everybody who has gifted me things and I'm so happy that I have these items in my collection. So now let's finish going over all of the numbers. I've already talked about my low buy bank and where it sits after I bought the 23 items that I bought. However, I did not talk about all of the numbers of what left my collection versus what came in, so let's go over that. This month I finished off 20 makeup, skincare, hair care items, all of that together. I did have one declutter and I did give away 25 nail polishes. I had mentioned in my previous video, the one from last month, that I had a bunch of nail polishes set aside that I was going to be shipping out and I did give away 25 nail polishes. So taking everything that I finished, decluttered and gave away, I had 46 items leave my collection during the month of August. With everything that I bought and everything that was gifted to me, I had 67 things come in. So a lot more items came in than went out. That is 21 more items came into my collection. But looking at the year as a whole, let's go over all those numbers that I forgot to go over earlier. For makeup, I have finished off $886.86. For skincare, I have finished off $1,619.47 for a grand total of $2,506.33. Looking over everything I finished, I have finished off 171 items since the beginning of the year. I have 90 clutters, I've given away 92 items. So I have had 272 items leave my collection, adding in everything that I just hauled plus everything else that I've purchased throughout the year. I have added 123 items to my collection. 
If I take the 272 items that left my collection, the 123 that came in, I am still down 149 items since the beginning of January. I will take it. Even with all of this coming in, my numbers are still going in the right direction. So that is everything that I have for you. This is the longest haul I have ever done on my channel. I know that it will greatly taper off after this. Like I said, I am pre-filming this, so I haven't gotten everything for my birthday. There may be a few more items that come in for my birthday, and if they are, I will show them to you when I do my update next month to my low buy bank. That is everything that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you.